Hello everybody, my name is Pete and I get to be one of the pastors at Epiphany Station. You know, I was just looking at this Clorox disinfecting wipes container here and it says it kills 99.9% of viruses and bacteria. Now these kind of things uh, we're really used to over these last uh, few weeks and it feels like three years really. But I, I got to thinking about 99.9%. Well, that's pretty good. It's not 100%. You know, it, it, it kills most of the bacteria. It doesn't sanitize. Well, when I think about something that's really, really good, but it's not 100%, kind of reminds me of the fact that really the only one that's 100% in our lives is our God. And when I look at the book of Psalms, and I've been looking at Psalm 91 a lot, over these last days, and I'm sure some of you have as well. It talks about our God and how He is involved in our lives, especially so that we know He's involved in our lives in times like this when we have pandemics. And this is what just one of the verses out of Psalm 91. It says this, For He, meaning God, will give His angels charge concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Not 99%, but in all your ways. And then we look at Ephesians chapter 6. That's the warfare chapter where God tells us he, to equip us. He is able to equip us in every way to be able to handle the, the things that Satan throws at us in our lives. And there's a verse that uh, I was drawn to when it talks about the warfare, it says, In addition to all, taking up the shield of faith with which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. It doesn't say 99%, but all the flaming arrows that the evil one fires at us. Now that's a guarantee, and that's solid. And as helpful as the Clorox dis disinfecting wipes are in, in our day today, there isn't anything better than our God who is able to defend us on all fronts, who is able to give us all that we need to make the decisions that are ahead, and we can rest assured in Him. So I hope you uh, just remember that in trying times and very difficult times, while it's tempting to look at the problems, let's turn to the solution and remember our God who does all things well. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.